This is epilepsy. This is epilepsy and me. Hello, I'm Sam Downey. I've had epilepsy for over 10 years and it's caused by two lesions in my brain. I have several types of epilepsy seizures and they happen both in the day and at night. Right now I'm going through a stage of testing so I'd like to show you my brain. Living with epilepsy is no joy but I try and stay happy and positive all the time. So in this film there's something which I'm really glad to be a part of and I want to share it with you and it's all about raising awareness and talking about living with epilepsy. And over the past three years now, I've been part of a fantastic event called Epilepsy Awareness Day, which takes place at the original park of Disneyland Resort in California. And it's attended by patients, by families, and by neurologists, and people who are experts in epilepsy and other brain disorders. And to help bring epilepsy out of the shadows, because people think that epilepsy is still a taboo subject. So in this short film, I want to show you the science of raising awareness via the interviews I did at Epilepsy Awareness Day, which took place at Disneyland in California. Hi, my name is Megan Kennedy with Epilepsy Education Everywhere. I've had epilepsy for 28 years, and just to everyone out there with epilepsy, no matter where you are, whatever you're doing, please do not give up. It took me 12 years to find the right drug cocktail. There's a lot more options available out there, so please just get out there, educate yourself, learn more, advocate, and as I said, you know, talk to people, but no matter what, do not give up, live life with epilepsy, do not let it live you. You're watching Epilepsy Day 2014 here at Disneyland in California, at the Magic Castle. What you're about to see is some really great interviews and some glimpses into how the day came together. So, uh, Milan, uh, tell me your story about epilepsy. Okay, um, I, uh, I had my first seizure when I was 11 years old, and I was diagnosed uh, with epilepsy at 16 years old. And I had somewhat a normal life until 28 years old. And at 28, I started to have, so I was like having maybe one seizure a year, so it was like kind of normal, I mean, somewhat normal. And then I started to have more and more seizures and my life just changed dramatically at that point and I just, um, I was having uh, maybe, I don't know, hundreds of uh, seizures a month and uh, everything got much worse and uh, I had to adapt my life and uh, I did and uh, I have a great boyfriend who helped me when going through that and um, my medication had been very heavy on me and uh, I am uh, I'm getting a little better right now. It's, uh, yeah. So you so say your medication took uh, a little bit of toll on you? It, it, it was huge. It was huge. It's getting better right now, but um, the medication took a huge toll on me, and it still is. But I'm fighting it, and uh, hopefully it will get better soon.
I'm Sam Downey, and uh, if you want to introduce yourself to me. Dr. Holder. Uh, so, what do you do? So, I'm an epileptologist by training. I treat patients with epilepsy, and our goal is to make sure the patients get the best treatment for their type of epilepsy. So, we work real hard to make the right diagnosis first, and then after making the right diagnosis, we offer what we think will be their best chance of being seizure-free, whether that's medications, surgery, uh, implantable devices that are used for epilepsy, or special diets. Uh, what was your interest in epilepsy? I think it's interesting because the brain's fascinating, trying to understand how the brain works, and epilepsy is something we can treat and actually make better, and I really enjoy making kids better. What do you think the future of epilepsy holds? Yeah. Well, our goal is to be able to cure everybody's epilepsy. Right now, there's a small subset we're able to cure with surgery, but our goal is to really get rid of epilepsy for good. Um, so EEG, EEG is an electroencephalogram, and it's looking at the uh, activity, the electrical activity in the brain. Um, EEG is actually doesn't affect the brain at all. It's just monitoring, so it's just watching. And there have been people that were concerned that we could actually put put influence into their mind or in, or into their brain by looking at EEG, but that's not the case. It's only something that's just being just observing what's naturally going on. Um, and then there's. Um, a, a, a question I'm asked frequently is, what is a um, is the EEG useful if I don't have a seizure? And actually, the EEG can be very useful. Then we're looking at a few things during the EEG. We're looking at seizures. We're looking at where they're coming from and the type of seizures they are. But we're also looking at the background and the interictal background. And that means the time in between the seizure. Ictal meaning seizure, interictal in between seizures. And during that period in between seizures, we can get a lot of information um, about what the normal background looks like, what is what the normal background is there, what isn't there, and then interictal discharges, spikes and sharps, and other things that can show us uh, what type of seizures or type of epilepsy it is. And there are even some specific fingerprints of certain types of EEG patterns that are very specific for different uh, seizure types or different epilepsies.